Hi, this is Keenly, and we're going to talk about the right-hand rules for magnetism. And there's basically four different things I want to talk about. Moving charges in magnetic fields, a magnetic field around a current carrying wire, and we're going to use the traditional definition of current, which is what Ben Franklin came up with, which is technically the flow of positive charges. We know it's not right, but because Ben did it, we're going to keep it that way. A current carrying wire inside a magnetic field and the magnetic field created by a solenoid. And so one of the key things, key rules that we need to know is the law of poles, which is basically opposites attract and likes repel. So if we look at these magnets down at the bottom, magnetic field lines always come out of north poles of a magnet and always go into south poles. So a magnetic field will come out of this magnet and go straight into the south pole of this one or and go into the south pole of its own magnet. That's perfectly fine. So again, north to south, outside the magnet. Now if we got two likes, well magnetic fields can't pass through each other. Okay, So two magnetic fields can't cross through each other like that. And so what happens is, if you've ever played with magnets and you actually felt this, those magnetic field lines will actually bend, almost like little springs. The more they bend, the more they want to straighten back out and push apart. So the arrow, again, always goes from north to south. Now we're going to use this to help figure out some of this other stuff. So let's start off with figuring out the direction of magnetic fields, even if we can't see the magnets themselves. What if we can't tell where the magnets are? So we've got a couple of things we can do. We usually use arrows for direction. And the letter that we give magnetic fields is the letter B. We can't give it an M because M stands for mass and other things like that. So we call it B. So B is our magnetic field. It is a vector. Uh, so it's, a lot of times you'll put like a little arrow on top. But if the magnetic field is like this, that means that over here someplace there's a north pole. And over here someplace there's a south pole. But we don't actually have to show them. So if we got a magnetic field going like this. Okay. Again... Magnetic field lines come out of north poles, go on the south pole. So down here had to be a north pole, and up there had to be a south pole for this magnetic field. Now we got to think in more than just two dimensions. So what if we have a magnetic field where uh, the below this piece of paper is the north pole, and where my camera is up here is the south pole. So what happens is the magnetic field lines will actually come out of the, the table towards you, and the way we show that is by using dots. So this represents that the magnetic field is actually coming through the tabletop towards the camera. So the north pole is underneath the table, and the south pole is above it. If it's the other way, we use X's, or sometimes plus signs. Depends on the book you're looking at. So this one means that the north pole is up here and the south pole is below the table, so the field lines are going into the table. Or we sometimes we say into the page. So I had an old college professor that explained it like this. Think of these as like arrows, like in a bow and arrow. The arrow's being shot in a certain direction. So where it's shot from is the north pole, where it's shot to is the south pole. If you see dots, that means the arrow's coming towards you. So it's coming out of the page or out of the board. If you see the feathers, that means it's going away from you. So it's going into the page or into the board. And it's really important towards the top of the page is up, bottom of the page is down, right, left, into, out of. Okay? So into if it's going that way, out if it's coming out of the page towards the camera in this case. So let's look at a charge in a magnetic field, a moving charge. It has to be a moving charge. We're going to use the right-hand rule for this. Now, there's many different forms of this. There's the gun method where you kind of do this. I'm going to use the open palm method. Now, for the open palm method, your fingers represents the magnetic field. So that's B. Your thumb is the direction the charge is moving. And your palm is the direction of the force for a positive charge. If it's a negative charge, you use the back of your hand. But make sure you use your right hand. So, for this first one. The magnetic field is going into the page. 
And so I want my fingers going into the page. And my thumb has to go to the right. So I want to twist my hand around this way. All right. I wish I had a bigger camera. And so with doing that, my fingers are going into the page. My thumb is going to the right. You keep your hand flat. My palm is pointing towards the top of the page. So the direction of force on this one is up. So the force is directed towards the top of the page. For this one, the magnetic field is going to the right. The direction that the, velocity, the charge is going is up. And so I hold my hand like this. And it's a positive charge because it's a P, P for proton, just like over here. My palm is facing into the table. So the force is into the page. All right. Now these two are electrons. So I'm going to use the back of my hand for the direction of the force. So for this one, the field's coming out of the page. So i got to have my fingers pointing up towards the camera. All right. I want to try to do it over here. And my thumb for the electrons got to be pointing down the page. So here's a really up close view. Now I'm going to use the back of my hand. My back of my hand is over here to the right. It's facing to the right. And so I am going to say that the force is to the right. And for this one, the electron's going that way, so that's my thumb. Okay, the field's going down the page, so here's a little trick. If it's really contorted, just move it around so it kind of matches your hand. Okay, so the electric field's going that way. My field is going down the page, and since it's an electron, I want to use the back of my hand. The back of my hand's pointing up towards the page, so that force is out of the page. So that will push the electron out of the page, up towards the camera. So again, your finger is going to represent the magnetic field. Your thumb is the direction that the charge is moving. If it's a positive charge, the direction of force is the same direction that your palm is facing. Okay. If it's a negative charge, it's, the force is the same direction that the back of your hand is facing. Okay. All right. So to repeat this one, all right, field's going into the page. So I've got my fingers pointing down. The charge is going this direction. So I point my thumb that direction. And so my palm is facing towards the top of the page. And that's why the force is up. Let's look at a current carrying wire. A current carrying wire is you're going to pretend you're grabbing the wire in the same direction the current's flowing. Now the current is represented by I. And then the arrow will point the direction that the current's going in that wire. So there's my wire. It's a length of wire, L. We can find the magnetic field at some distance. We're going to do the math later, not in this video. So let's say this is my wire, and the current is going to the right. I want to pretend to grab the wire with my thumb, right hand, with my thumb pointing in the direction that the wire, the current in the wire is going. And my fingers are going to curl around the direction of the magnetic field. So... They go in on this side, up behind it, they come out above it, and then down on top. Now, to make that look right, I've seen many depictions, but usually what happens in a physics book is we just worry about the coming out and going into the page. So it's going into the page on the bottom. My fingers are sticking out on the top. See, little tips of my fingers, those are going to be the dots. And so it's going to look like this. It's going in on the bottom, so that's my magnetic field, and it's coming out on the top. Dots are coming out, X's are going in, so the field's coming out of the board on top, the field's going into the board on the bottom, or page. All right, so for this one, let's say my let wire's right here, the, med the current's going down, so I wanna grab it with my finger, or my thumb, point in that direction, and again, my finger's gonna wrap around the direction of the magnetic field. So they go in on that side, and they're going to come out on this side. And so they go around this way. 
So my fingers are going into the board over here. So those are X's. My fingers will be coming out on this side. So those are dots. So there's the magnetic field around that one. Now again, we got to think three dimension. So what if on this one, the current's coming out towards you? That means that the wire is pointing up and the current's coming up towards the camera because the dot means coming out. So again, I want to pretend I want to grab it with my thumb pointing in the direction of the current. So the current's going up. So I'll grab it this way. And my fingers are going to curl around the wire in the direction of the magnetic field. Remember, use your right hand. And so that means the magnetic field is going around that way, around that current carrying wire. This one, exits. So that means the current is going into the page. And so I'll grab it with my thumb pointing down. Okay. I'm way too close to my camera, but that's okay. We'll do this over again if we need to. And my fingers are going to curl around the wire in the direction of the magnetic field. So they're going around this way. So the current will go around this direction in that situation. So there's my magnetic field. Let's look at these two wires here. What happens if these magnetic fields interact with each other? So I've got wire going this way, current going that direction. So again, I grab it. Fingers are going to go into the board or into the page on top. They're coming out on the bottom. And so into on top, those are X's. Out on the bottom. This one's the same direction, so it's going to do the same thing. Into the page on top, out of the page on the bottom. So those will be X's. These will be dots. Look at the field on the inside. We've got dots from this wire, X's from this one, so magnetic field going, coming out, going in. These are opposites. So these two wires will pull together. In other words, they'll attract. So the magnetic field here wants to actually pull these two wires together. Now, if they're going opposite directions, then the magnetic field would set up and actually push the wires apart. Okay, So these magnetic fields produced by these wires can actually interact with each other and cause the wires to do stuff. All right. Speaking of which, what if we put a wire in a magnetic field? We're going to put a wire in a magnetic field. So here's my wires and magnetic fields. The magnetic fields are black. The wires are green. Okay, and it gives you the direction. The force is Bill, basically. B equals B cross IL, or Bill. And let's just look at this. So current's going this way, so I'm going to grab the wire in that direction. So fingers are sticking out on top. They'll go in on the bottom, so stick it out on top, so those are dots. In on the bottom, so those are X's. Again, opposites attract, locks repel, so that wire will be pushed up the page. So that wire will want to be pushed up that direction. This one is a little bit harder because we got a magnetic field going down. Current of the wire is going this way, so if it's like that, it's dots on top, X's on the bottom, but they're all right angles to each other. But here's the thing. Remember that that's going around. So on top of the wire, my fingers are pointing down the page. So on top of this wire, the magnetic field's going that way. So it's going, it is actually circulating around the wire like this, up on this side, down, and around. So this means on top of the wire, the magnetic field from the wire is going down. The magnetic field is going down. Those are like, so this wire would be pushed into the page. That's a hard one to visualize. Let's look at this one. We've got a current carrying wire going up. So I want to grab it with my thumb pointing the direction the current's going. So my finger's going in on this side. My fingertips are coming out on the other. Remember, fingertips are dots. And so I'm going to have dots on this side. X is on this one, where the field's going in on that side, out on this one. Again, opposites attract, lights repel. So the force on this one is to the right. 
Now, one last right-hand rule. That's a right-hand rule for a solenoid. Now, a solenoid is something that looks like this, okay? It is basically a coil of wire, and the way we do it is we look to see which way the current's flowing in. See the wire right here? Well, you may not be able to see it, but there's a wire right there, and it wraps around kind of this way, all the way up. And if that's the red, that's technically the positive, okay? So on this one, if I set it here like this, pause is going in, and it's coming around this way, and go around and this way. So the current in the wire is going inside on this side, underneath, it's coming out on this side, and going around. And it's wrapping around the solenoid as it goes through. So if I was to cut this in half and try to draw it, it looked like this. Current's going in on this side. This side would be X's. Because it's going in. Those are X's. This side would be dots. And the way to tell the magnetic field around this is you want to pretend you're grabbing the solenoid in the same direction the current's going. So the current's going in on this side. The currents are coming out on that side. Your thumb is the north pole. So this would be the north pole of this solenoid, and that would be the, sec the south pole, because this is going to turn it into an electromagnet, basically. Now, what if it's going the other way around? Let's say the current's going in on this side, and it's coming out on the other. So that we have X's on this side, dots on this one. Okay? So to do that, my fingers are going to go in on this side, wrap around, and come out on the other side, my thumb's going to be pointing down the page, so this will be the North Pole, and that will be the South Pole. The way it works is like this. Think about that current carrying wire. When the current's coming out, and I grab it like this, the magnetic field goes around the wire in this direction. So here, see it's going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Here going into it so it's going to curve around this way so it's going to go around the other direction here so up 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 so they all combine to give you a magnetic field going up the solenoid this way so that would be the north pole and that's the south pole that's how that uh, magnetic field is generated by the solenoid is by that method there. So the North Pole would be there and South Pole would be there. Just like on this side, if there are dots, it's coming out. So the magnetic field is going to go around this direction. <laughs> and on this side, it's going in, so it's going to curve around this way. So now, the magnetic field is setting up that direction. So that's the North Pole and that's the South Pole. All right. Thank you very much for putting up with this video. And uh, if you want a cleaner video, maybe seeing the whole of me instead of this close to that, just leave a comment and uh, I'll redo the video with uh, a little bit better camera angle. Thank you for watching and... Subscribe and tune in again for some more physics. Goodbye.